Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for October 24th, 2024. Well, my goodness, we had quite a day yesterday with some selling, uh, breaking some support levels, but really nothing terrible happening just yet in the market, but certainly a little bit of concern raised. So what happened overnight? Well, if we take a look at Asian markets, Asian markets were mostly lower overnight. Australia was down 0.12%. Um, India was down 0.15%. We had South Korea down. Hong Kong was down substantially 1.3%. And Shanghai down 0.68%. Um, South Korea avoided a technical recession by I just kind of squeaked it out from not going into a quarter over quarter recession. And uh, the outlier was the Nikkei up 0.10%. If we take a look at European markets, however, this morning, they are bullish across the board. Um, earnings um, from the U.S. last night seem to be inspiring. A nice pushback here by those bulls. Right now we have the DAX decidedly bullish up 0.65%. FTSE's up 057 And the CAC is up 0.75%. So looking pretty good over there. Here in the U.S., we've got a little bit of a mix. We had Tesla produce some really good earnings last night um, and uh, pushing the QQQ index up, helping out quite a lot. But then um, IBM, IBM disappointed and falling here this morning, adding a little bit of pressure in the Dow. So this morning we have the diamonds Looking just a little bit lower here this morning, down 0.13% uh, or 57 points. S&P 500 futures are up $25 or 0.43%. And the NASDAQ futures are up a whopping 160 points or 0.80%. So what else is going on here in the market? Well, if we take a look at um, oil this morning, oil is moving up. We've got XLE uh, moving up here. And if I take a look right now at oil futures, we are up 75 cents a barrel at 71. 52 a barrel and we're seeing quite a bit of bullishness in that sector we have brent crude up 88 cents at uh, 75 84 a barrel natural gas is also moving a little bit higher here this morning up just over four cents precious metals are rebounding here today we have a big move in a gld pushing back up after pretty substantial decline yesterday pushing right back up here up $21 um, an ounce here this morning at $2,750 an ounce. Silver is also rebounding back up here this morning. We've got copper up, but that's not really helping um, FCX here all that much. It is holding some support, but that's about all. And if we look at platinum, platinum is higher by 2.18% this morning. And palladium, holy moly, shooting up here 8.95% this morning. A big strong move there in palladium. If you remember, I was talking about watching this pattern setting up as a potential buy coming in. Wow, no one would have expected that kind of move today. If we take a look at crypto here this morning, well, crypto is also trying to rebound. Um, if we take a look at BITO, had a pretty rough day yesterday, but Bitcoin right now up $743 a coin. Um, Ether is also up $22.40 a coin. Now, um, one of the reasons that's occurring is we have the dollar declining here just a bit after popping through this resistance and a big strong move. We're coming back to retest that area of support here in the U.S. dollar. And right now the U.S. dollar is continuing to hold on in the dollar futures, holding on to gains, but only about six cents of gains here this morning. And one of the reasons that is helping out is because our bonds have eased just a tiny little bit this morning. The two-year bonds coming in at 4.04%. 
10-year bonds at 4.19% and the 30-year bonds at 4.47%. So just a little teeny tiny ease in those bonds, but they are continuing to add considerable pressure to the overall markets. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we dig in, settle in, buckle up, and let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again everyone and thank you so much for being here. Very much appreciate it. How about we take a look at these markets, see if we can figure out how we might want to approach the market for today. Remember we want to shake off that bias that we have here in the market. We want to look at the charts for what they are, not for what we want them to be. And you can really see that yesterday in that discussion that we had about the potentials in here, it was meaningful because I know no one wanted to see the market fall, but we fell right into these levels of support that we talked about yesterday, and we even saw that increase in fear uh, coming into the market. So, what do we have going today? Well, one of the first things we have going on here is we have a really great support level here in the diamonds. And with the earnings, we may find that inspiration here today to bounce up off of this area. And if we do bounce up off of here, then we need to deal with this price resistance. Can we break back through that price resistance? And if we can, then we're going to start progressing back up. See if we can deal with that resistance and of course, Right there we have an all-time high and a blue sky above there in the diamonds. But if the bears were to find inspiration here today, we want to make note that we have broken the upside trend here, technically at least at the moment. Now we can recover that quickly, but if those bears were to find inspiration and continuing to push today, you can see breaking down below this support would probably bring us into this consolidated area here. We've got a good strong support in that area as well that could hold us, but certainly that would raise some concern in the market. Breaking below that, I would say we would be pretty fearful here. Even though there's more price support in here, that would be a pretty substantial decline and everyone would be a little bit worried about what comes next here in the market. Now, it's really gonna take earnings to show some disappointment. And honestly, I think it's gonna take big tech earnings to show us disappointment for that to occur. Because right now, we've got so much hype and so much hope that tech is gonna carry this market through that I think that's what we're waiting for here. We're waiting for those big tech giants to report the question is, if they stumble, watch out. We could move sharply lower very quickly. If we take a look at our SPY, SPY, taking a look at that. Nice little bounce back up yesterday off of this price support. And then of course, uh, Tesla helping this out a lot this morning, pushing things back up here in the chart or in the pre-market. Now the question is, will we be able to hold that once we start getting through some of the data of the day? But right now, nothing wrong here at all in the SPY chart. This is still a very, very bullish chart overall. And if the bulls can find inspiration here today, well, it's pretty easy to see. We could bounce up in there without too much trouble uh, back above that trend. And then, of course, all time highs. But if those bears were to find inspiration here today, well, first off, we know we're kind of tested here yesterday. We held on that support level. Push back down to retest that support level would look like the likely place if the bears were to really get going. If they push below that, I would say we're probably going to see a little bit of fear cropping up in the market. And you look through here, there's a lot of congestion in this area. We could find support any place in here, but the really strong support is going to be down here. And that, of course, would raise quite a bit of concern in the market. You see, we have really good price support in this area. So if we were to fall down through this area, I would be watching carefully for that potential down here. That would raise some concern. Now, QQQ is getting a big bump here today. Nice little pop back up. We pushed down hard yesterday in the QQQ and we ended up coming down here, testing this trend 
in the chart. We ended up bouncing off of that trend, pushing back up through this little bit of price support right here. So we're still in a very bullish chart here on the QQQ. This has been a just a wide ranging choppy consolidation in the Qs. So if the bulls can continue to find inspiration today, well, first we need to pop back up through this little area of resistance, get back through there and then see if we can deal with these tops right here. Can we pop through there? If we can, we're back up here testing this resistance high in the chart. And if we can pop through that area, well, then we start looking at these all time highs here in the chart, to see if we can stretch on out. And there certainly is every reason to believe that is possible with big tech reports and things upcoming. No one seems to want to sell here in tech in hopes that big tech will drive us higher here in the market. And I think it's very possible. If we take a look at the IWM, IWM had kind of a rough day yesterday, continuing to pull back. But as you can see, found a little price support right in this area right here. Grab that and bounce back up. So if the bulls can be expired, inspired today, first thing we need to do is break back through that resistance in the chart. If we can get back up through there, then maybe we can start pushing on up and reattacking some of these areas up here in that chart. Remember, we've continued to struggle with this range in this um, area here, these 2022 highs um, in or 2021 and 2022 highs in um, IWM have served as a substantial level of resistance and we just can't seem to find the energy to pop through that at the moment. Now, if the bears were to find inspiration, well, it's pretty easy to see. Maybe a push back down to retest the low of that candle yesterday. And then of course, this support area in the chart and then maybe this upside trend. Um, I think if we were to break that, it would raise considerable concern in the market as well. Let's take a look at our VIX. Our VIX had a little bit of an increase yesterday. Um, not so much as to be a major concern because we pushed through and we started to break this little downtrend here in the VIX, but then we ended up easing that back down at the end of the day. Um, so what we're really doing is we're just sitting in here in a consolidation. We, we seem to be very uncertain. Our VIX is holding at a pretty high level, just below 20 uh, handles here in the VIX, which remember everyone, every time the VIX goes up, our implied volatility of options go up and every premium that we pay is going to be more expensive. So keep an eye on that, but watch that closely here. We're still holding that area with the bullishness today. We might see that pull back. And if the bulls can really get going, then a break of this area here would probably relieve some of that pressure. Maybe we would come back and test some support areas here in the chart down in these regions. If the the bears were to continue that inspiration here today for some reason and pop up through here. I'm going to look for some resistance right in here before we push into this next level of the VIX. Let's take a look at our T20s. Our T2122 had a really good pullback. And as you guys remember on Monday, and I know no one wants to hear it, on Monday, I said, raise your stops, be careful here, a pullback uh, could occur at any time. And it just happened that I got lucky on Monday and the, the pullback started to occur. But remember, this does not signal the date or time of those pullbacks. It just give us, gives us the clues when we're overbought. Now, the same is true when we reach down in here and we start to see these hooks, we might be a little bit on the oversold condition here in the short term. Now, even though we haven't reached all the way down here into the bearish reversal zone, which means that even today, Today, with the bullishness that we've got going this morning, if the data doesn't come in strong today, we do have that possibility that we could still move lower here in T2122. So keep an eye for that, um, that those possible whipsaws here in the pre-market. And then if those bulls can find inspiration today, which they are certainly trying
trying to grab onto this morning, then there is that possibility of that substantial bounce back up here, that relief rally in the market. So keep an eye on that. We have taken a lot of the froth off the market here recently. Now our T2108, got to tell you, T2108 um, didn't really perform all that well yesterday. As you can see, continuing to move lower below the 50% area here. And you'll notice uh, being below this 50%, we ended up giving up this little price support, but not so much as to be a major problem. We will want to be paying attention if the bears were to continue to find inspiration here. You'll notice we've kind of slipped this trend in the chart. If they continue to push to the downside, well, next support level might be down in this region of the chart. If the bulls can find that inspiration today, like they're finding in the pre-market, then a push back up, get back above that 50% area. That's what we want to see here in the market and then maybe start progressing on up for some of these resistance levels in the charts once again. So I'm going to say the same basically for T2107 percentage of stocks above the 200 day. We lost a little support yesterday but here again not terrible in this because we're still holding well above 50 percent. So if the bears were to find inspiration and we end up pushing down, well, we might start seeking some of these levels down in here because we did break that support here and we are trying to hold on to this little upside trend. So if that were to break, then I would think we're probably going to push lower into these levels. If the buyers find, if the bulls find inspiration and we push back up, break through that resistance, and we can start coming back up here and testing these areas of resistance in the chart. One thing I will tell you about T2108 and T2107 is I'm not seeing major momentum on the bearish side yet. If we take a look at T2101, well, our T21 showed a little breadth increase on that bearish wave. We saw that energy coming in. You saw the volume in the diamonds kind of surge yesterday on that bearish wave. And you can see we did get a little bit of a breadth improvement here on that, but it wasn't enough to really make me think, boy, the bears are really taking over in a strong way. Um, overall, remember the SPY and the QQQ remain in bullish trends. It's pretty tough to uh, to say the the bears are winning too much ground here. They just take took away some of the overbought nature in the market. So, if we continue to get this push to the upside, what we need to see is we need to see the breadth increase on this bull wave today and this buying coming in to the SPY and the QQQ. We need to see that breadth improve. If that breadth improves, that will back those bulls off a little bit. But if we were to see that breadth on a push to the upside, kind of waning in energy, again, that might embolden those bears to push a little bit harder. So watch that closely today. Let's take a look at our economic calendar here for today. And our economic calendar is a little bit busier today than we have seen all week. First off, we're gonna get those jobless claims and we know how sensitive we have been to these jobless claims right now claims are suggesting the consensus only 247,000 in claims that's a little tiny increase here one of these days we're seeing some of those hints of the consumer issues in in the auto market um, we're hearing um, um, all these numbers from that industry that there's um, uh, um, sales have really been declining. We're hearing like TGI Fridays maybe going to have to um, go into um, a file for bankruptcy and a bunch of those um, restaurant areas out there starting to show some concerns as well of a slowing economy. So if all of a sudden this were to jump in numbers, I wouldn't be really surprised. It hasn't happened yet, 
but watch carefully for that possibility if all of a sudden those numbers start to jump up, really starting to reflect that concern um, in the market and the slowing consumer. So watch that carefully here. Now beyond that today we're going to get the Chicago National uh, uh, Activity Index in here. Um, they're looking for that to come in. Oh well, excuse me, not. there's no consensus here. Um, it was 0.12 last time and a negative 0.17 on the three month moving average. So keep an eye on that. Not typically a market moving report. We've got uh, Hammock in here speaking uh, today. We're going to get a PMI composite flash. I don't know why they didn't give us a composite guess here on the consensus, but it's been 54 the last uh, last time, 54.4. Um, the final was 54.0, so watch that carefully today. Uh, manufacturing index, it looks like they're looking at that, suggesting it will pump up just a little bit higher. And the services index, they're suggesting that that will decline just slightly. So watch that number. Could be a market moving number today. Uh, new home sales, here again, they are projecting a little bit higher increase in new home sales. But I got to tell you, I think those higher rates that we're seeing because of those bond yields rising, we might see this number miss just like we did in those housing numbers yesterday. So keep an eye on that. And then we've got natural gas report here today. We're going to see some bond auctions and a Fed balance sheet here at the end of the day. We will have a Kansas City uh, Fed manufacturing number, but I don't think it's going to matter how negative that comes in. We won't care because we only care about the tech giants at the moment. Um, looking into Friday, we've got a big durable goods report. That definitely is a market moving number we'll want to be paying attention to for Friday. So as you're preparing your day ahead, watch for that and then that consumer sentiment number as well. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar. And our earnings calendar, guys, I'm, I'm sorry, I, there's no way I can cover all of these reports. There is just a massive number here today. A couple that have come in already, um, UPS reporting today, reporting better than expected, pushing up. But we're going to hear from like Harley Davidson this morning. We're going to hear from Honeywell today. We're going to hear from uh, uh, Dow Chemical. Uh, we're going to hear from um, airlines like AAL. We've got um, MSM that we'll be reporting today. We're going to hear from uh, UNP, a little bit of railroad action in there. We're going to hear from Pool this morning. So, I, I mean, just a lot. TSCO will be reporting this morning as well. Um, after the bell, we'll be looking at reports um, from um, AJG will be in there. COF uh, Deckers will be on, um, on the list. Um, EW, we're going to hear from Skechers um, this afternoon. We're going to hear from UHS and Warehouser here on the day. WDC will also be in there this afternoon. So keep an eye on those this afternoon. Um, and if you want to catch the full list of notables, make sure you click that link just below the title of the video. That'll take you back to the morning blog where you can get that full list of notables and um, be able to pay attention to all of those reports coming in this morning and this afternoon. Let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, everyone, if you could do me this quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, do me that favor and click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment. That helps the channel to continue to grow. Thank you so much for everyone who does do that. And really a big shout out to everyone who shares these videos on your social media feed, as well as those who continue to support the 
the channel through the buy me a coffee link thank you very very much i really really appreciate it and remember guys we have a special going on right now for membership um, in right way options it's a trial membership for 30 days it's only seven bucks it's only a limited time we're not going to do this very long so if you have any interest in that whatsoever Run over to the Hit and Run Candlesticks website and check that out because seven bucks for a full 30 days. Um, see if this is right for you. I'd love to have you come aboard. Let's take a look at um, these stocks setting up. Remember everyone, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. You need to do your own due diligence. Be very, very careful in this market. And remember that anything is possible around these earnings reports. First off, I'm gonna to go to MSOS here. Um, um, whoops. This morning, MSOS is a cannabis um, um, stock and getting a nice little pattern formed here you can see good pop here yesterday pushing through and this happens to be in what we call the round and bottom breakout but it's not going to qualify that because we're moved we've moved so close to that 200 day moving average but what i want to bring to your attention is any rest or pullback you might find an opportunity in there and you could also go into some of these others like Crone, uh, Crone moving up, um, MJ um, moving up out of this bottom. So something's going on here in cannabis. Kind of keep an eye on that. I continue to keep an eye on stocks that are in this commodity sector of uranium. Um, all of these big tech giants to, to make AI work, we're gonna have to build massive infrastructure to power all of these data centers and the, everything seems to be moving toward uh, the nuclear area. So keep an eye on things like CCJ. Had a pretty strong pullback yesterday, but you can see trying to pop back up and hold a little bit of support in there. Keep an eye on that. Any, this rest or pullback might provide an opportunity. And you could look in, um, whoops, URA. URA, nice little breakthrough resistance, trying to hold support, UEC also showing quite a bit of bullishness here recently needs a little bit of rest or consolidation but keep an eye on some of those uranium plays they're showing quite a little bit of strength um, take a look at um, international paper whoops sorry that's two day international paper nice little push up here on international paper now i wouldn't want to chase this here but any rest or pullback now and what's interesting is um we're, we're seeing this market be extremely bullish and yet we're seeing things in the defensive area the the safety area of the market showing a lot of bullishness I'm beginning to wonder if there's a, a little bit of a rotation to a little bit of safety here in the market international paper good push up here it's going to report on 1031 so i would wait a little bit on this but a little bit of rest consolidation in here i think sets up an opportunity in that here's another one of those old boring kind of defensive type stocks AT&T beautiful move yesterday um, I picked up a, a tiny little piece of AT&T I don't want to chase this big candle but a little bit of rest in here is just what I'm looking for so I'll be watching this carefully here and know that this is um, past its earnings in here so rest consolidate in here look for that next opportunity there in AT&T looking pretty good overall and a good strong dividend payer one of those safety places in the market when we look at things like um, AEP um, AEP putting in this little higher low it is a little bit challenged here yet by this resistance but you'll notice in here that potential that what we're doing is creating an inverted head and shoulders pattern so I would watch this carefully this tried to pop yesterday to the upside watch that carefully in here and if we look at utilities as a whole XLU pushing through here utilities looking good overall which is not something you would typically see 
um, in a market that is supposed to be so ragingly bullish. So keep an eye on that, um, looking pretty good. Take a look at TSM. TSM, a very bullish chart in here. Nice little resting pullback here after that big gap up on earnings. I would watch for that next opportunity. It certainly could have been a buy yesterday. Watching for that next opportunity for that to maybe push on through to the upside, looking pretty good. Um, take a look at TWLO. TWLO still in a nice pattern. Now we have slipped this trend a little bit, but you'll notice this nice pop out of the box pattern in here forming. And we've got a little bit of bullishness coming in this morning pop through this resistance up here and there's every reason to believe that could start stretching on through to the upside looking pretty good overall you might want to keep an eye on bumble now bumble is coming up out of a bottom look at this break of this downtrend here pushing back up nice little pattern here to the upside breaking through that resistance and holding it as support in another little tight pop out of the box type pattern so i would watch that carefully if those buyers could step up and push on through there you do want to note that this is in the round of bottom breakout pattern as well so very good looking charts around the market so this video is getting a little bit long so i'm going to cut it off here i want to wish you all a fantastic day I want to wish you great results in your trading and remember take a look at that seven dollar trial for pete's sake for a full 30 days come on over and visit us see if we can help you with your trading y'all take care be safe have a great day and i will see you right back here bright and early friday morning Wish you all the best.